my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community that offers over 19,000 different courses in subjects like YouTubing, graphic design, videography. And today they're offering a special offer for the first 499 people to sign up. You will receive two months of Skillshare absolutely free. So big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And today I'm going to be making a retro recipe. Yes, one that I've been wanting to attempt for a long time and is called the Crown of Frankfurters. It's circa 1969 and it comes from the Weight Watchers card series. I guess they sent a box of cards, I think it was kind of like subscription. So every week you would receive 10 cards of Weight Watcher recipes and this was one of them. So what this recipe is supposed to emulate is a crown roast. You know, the kind that has the bones kind of poking up arranged in a you know, ring and they have a little poof poofs on top. Some of you may know what I'm talking about, but instead of having, you know, meat and bones and lots of fat, we're going to be using frankfurters, hot dogs, processed meat. Yes. We're going to be cutting these and arranging them. And then we're going to stuff the middle with cabbage. Sounds delicious, right? <laughs> it sounds absolutely horrendous. And that's why I'm making it. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So this recipe calls for one pound of frankfurters. I got these. I got these particular ones because these are bun size and I thought the extra length might come in handy. So testing out retro recipes is one of my favorite videos to make. If you've missed the series, I'll put the link up there and down below so you can see some other horrendous projects, including lots of mayo and jello and shaping and molding. All right, I've got one piece of hair that's like right there. All right, so we're going to take the frankfurter and cut it down the middle, but we're not going to cut all the way through. And we're just going to open this up. We're butterflying the hot dog. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, we don't want to cut all the way through, they say, which is tricky. This is tricky because you want to cut all the way through. See? Failure. Okay, I didn't cut all the way through, but I cut mostly through. So I think. The trick is to get the tip right there. Okay, so I'm gonna have it like that, and then we're gonna broil these. So I'm gonna put this onto a pan. Don't you just love opening packages where you have to separate and use force and your hands are greasy? Oh, it's the best. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple extra. Now we're gonna take our butterfly hot dogs and broil them for about five minutes. <laughs> all those bad boys. So while the frankfurters are broiling, I'm going to shred up my cabbage and it says to do two cups of this. Have you gotten your Winston t-shirt yet, by the way? There's only a few days left to get it. This is our commemorative Winston t-shirt. Let's celebrate the crumb. I'll put the link down below. Get it because if you don't get it, it'll be gone. All right, back to chopping. Two cups of cabbage. I'm supposed to add my poppy seeds and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Oh my gosh, the lid was not on there, sheesh. Now, I love apple cider vinegar, but that's all you're putting on this? No salt? No olive oil? Just poppy seeds? Okay, so we're gonna toss that around. Here are the frankfurters out from under the broiler, so no color here, they've just kind of just warmed up and they're nice and soft. So I've been eyeing this recipe for quite a while now and I've been trying to break down how they actually make the crown and not have it collapse. And I suspect there's probably some magic going on inside the crown itself. I think there's probably something that they're skewering the hot dogs to because I don't see how a mound of shredded cabbage is gonna have any structural integrity to maintain a wall of frankfurters. I just don't see it. So what I think I'm gonna do is save the core part, the part that we don't eat of the cabbage and put it inside the ring of frankfurters so I have something to pierce my toothpicks into so I can grab a hold of it so I can actually build the walls. That's the plan at least, right? And now I'm gonna build my crown around it. And it says to secure it with toothpicks. Oh, see, this is not working out. Let's, let's rethink this. Let's take toothpicks and make a wall of frankfurters. 
I think that would be smarter. Okay. Ugh, this is the scary part. Okay. Carefully shimmy this up. Okay, okay. <laughs> Everybody have a group hug. Okay, good. Looking good so far. Now let's start stuffing cabbage in, shall we? Yeah, just get the cabbage in there. And we're gonna start using some of these toothpicks to jab all the way through the cabbage. Yeah, okay. Go all the way through so we can make a little matrix here. get it into the actual core that we put in the middle. Okay, yes, okay, okay, okay. I think this is working. I'm not gonna worry about any of the toothpicks that are sticking out, because I'm gonna trim them off later. Mm -hmm. Pretty happy with this so far, it's looking pretty good. Now I'm just gonna finish by mounding more cabbage on top, so the crown looks nice and full. Half a cup of boiling water, and it says to pour it right over the cabbage. Interesting. And it's oozing out the bottom. Now we're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. See you later, crown. So while my crown of Frankfurters is baking, let me tell you a little bit more about Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community where you can take over 19,000 different courses in subjects like YouTubing, videography, design, it's really great for those that want to take their passion and make it into their job because you can find all the tools you need right there. So right now I'm going through the course 4K Video, Understanding the Format of the Future by Alan Michael. And I feel like taking a course through Skillshare is really helpful for me because it's really flexible and I can just tailor it to my own lifestyle. I can pause the course, start it whenever I want and whenever I have the time. It's just really, really ideal for my lifestyle. So a premium Skillshare account usually runs about $10 per month. But if you're one of the first 499 to click on the link down below, you shall receive two months of Skillshare absolutely free. So be sure to grab one of those spots because they get taken up pretty quickly. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now let's check on our our crown of frankfurters dun 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 here it is <laughs> all steaming piping hot let's see yes excellent we're going to garnish with some curly parsley just tuck that into there oh yes this is what makes it ultimately retro i'm just using a little red pepper making a little x on the top oh my goodness and there it is <laughs>
Alrighty, so there you have it, the epic and stunning crown of Frankfurt. I'm so delighted that this turned out as well as it did and satisfied that I finally got to make it. And let me know in the comments if there are any other retro recipes that you'd like to see me make and test and try. And I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Make sure you get yourself a Winston tea. And I shall see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. Bye.